Hi everyone, Mitchell Simmer here. So, welcome to my City Skylines attempt here that I'm going to be playing through and just poking around with. And for those who are interested, certainly hope you'll join and hang around. I am new to this game. I was a big SimCity fan back in the day and have had my eye on this for a little while on and off over the years and uh, just got involved in other things but just recently took a little bit more interest took a deeper look at it i've been waiting around for some sort of sale to pick it up and that happened recently and i have spent dozens of hours watching uh, great videos from other youtubers from a while ago in most cases uh, when they talked about things to get familiar with the game been following ar around and, and poking around a little bit so just starting to get familiar with it but one of the big things that I've heard from folks from several channels is as you're kind of getting used to things uh, assume the first one or two cities you start are kind of going to be throwaways so with that in mind, I've come up with the name Sandy Slopolis at this point for this city because I don't know how good it's going to be. It might be pretty sloppy, but I'm certainly going to give it a good shot. So let's, uh, let's try to get going here. Now, I know I followed along with some of the kind of beginners, guides, and so forth. So, my biggest confusion right now is I can't do terrain or landscaping. I see reach a population of 1,500. Because, yeah, I see nothing. I know, you know, we've got to do a little bit here to be able to unlock roads. So, I'm just going to eliminate that now that I've done that. I'm here on the Sandy Beach map, hence the Sandy starting name of the city. So, seemed like a good map from the vanilla game. I've got several DLCs activated. Basically, I don't have some of the things like, uh, I think, Snowfall and Natural Disasters or Disasters. I don't have anything of the newer ones. I don't have airports. I think financial districts may or may not be out already and plazas and promenades but the other kind of major DLCs you know, I picked those up when they were on sale it seemed like they might be worth trying out although the more videos I've watched the more it seems that it's just uh, maybe not as necessary as I might have thought at one point so I'm going to see, but at this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and I have the angle on, but it just seems like it's kind of letting me do whatever. Hmm. I'm hoping this is straight. All right. Well, I think I need to go a little ways here. So we'll do this with a four lane road to start things off. I just don't like the terrain, but, oh wow, that's a mess there, but, and yeah, I can't do the terrain to even try to follow the contours of the topology or anything, so I'm just going to have to do my best, I guess. Let's see, I should have two-lane roads here, so let me... Use the curved, the curved tool there. Let's see. Uh, maybe I don't want the angle, but yeah, I want to get to the guidelines. I know that. So I know enough to be dangerous. I think. We'll see how dangerous it really is. But um, all right. And then at this point, I need this one flipped. But I think that gets me what I need for coming in. I know here, let's see, Cl 
close that out call this Main Street because that's what it is that's not how you rename it that's how it points to it so that's why it's moving and this will be my priority road so I should be able to at this point go to traffic routes go to junctions oh I don't have any junctions but I'll turn that off though because I don't want people who are getting off the highway to have a problem and then here uh, I'm going to build out um, using just some uh, pretty basic sizing but yeah wow I can see the undulations there so one of the folks um, you know maybe I guess a little near and dear to how I tend to play my sims is uh, City Planner Plays is someone I've, I've watched quite a bit. Uh, let me set the angle. I wonder if, hoping I was okay with what I did. And uh, he just fit a lot of, of how I think I would play this. So one of their suggestions was this grid system. So I am going to do that to start. So out 300 over, uh, oh, did I only go? I didn't go far enough. Eek. Not a good start. It's 220 from the larger ones. So I'm probably wasting money already that I don't have. <laughs> All right. So let me do this again. So I'm going to go 220, then 300. There we go. That's a cleaner grid now. And that was one of the suggestions that they had made, both from just, you know, how the game works and w what they were suggesting. So definitely... Um, something I'm certainly interested in is learning from those who've come before. All right, now why is this not lining up? I'm confused a little bit, but let's see. That gives me four. I'll go out here too. wondering if I somehow did something wrong with the spacing. I don't think I did, but it just didn't seem like the circles were lining up where they needed to, but you now they're the right size. Wow, I really don't like those, so that's going to hurt. I can't do anything till 1500. All right, well, I'm going to let the time start. head out this way then so now I need to go 200 at a time so let me go maybe 800 and I'm gonna kinda start my industrial district down in this direction so I think yeah. So what I'm going to want to do is whoops, run a couple streets down this way. Obviously we'll come over, but I want to put some spaces out here where I can begin some industrial work. And obviously I need to zone. Well, actually I need electricity. Let me stop this because I'm just spending money. I'm losing money for nothing. So let me see what we have for water. We can get up in this area. We don't have much. Looks like it's slowly flowing that way. So I'm going to want to put my water intakes, I think, over here. All right, and then my 
sewage output as far away as I can get on the other direction. Connect these up. And then run these back to the city. So we'll get ourselves here. I think that gets me where I want. Yeah. All right, and then I need electricity. Now this is always the challenge because I'm gonna go with the coal power plant. Wow, all right, well, if I put it there, it's gonna be the least amount. I, almost, I don't really wanna pollute Wondering if I should do it like there. And then at least I'll be free of the street. So I think I might do that. Or maybe what I'll do, hold on. Let me extend the road. So actually, let me do this. Go 300 and over. But then I'll go down a bit here. Still. And then I think I'll put the power plant there. Just make sure I'm not blocking my road. Although I don't think I would continue there, but all right. So that will give me a good amount. Now I need to run electricity up. I'll just head across here quick as I can and then run up here to the water and then we'll run over. Wow, this is just spending all kinds of money here, but I don't really have a choice. All right, and then unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to Let me do this. Let me go from here. I guess I'll start there and then maybe it's going to mess me up a little bit, but that's all right. So I want to place my zoning up this way. And now at this point, I can start going, and hopefully then, there we go, power went off. Let me just make sure I see water. I do. I'm going to run things over here, and then kind of down the main, main road there. So now I've got water coverage where I've zoned. And then I want to run this way and go over a couple. So I'll go here. Wow, this just uses money very, very quickly. I'm still losing money here. All right, so we'll let it get going. And we're on our way. So my first target is Little Hamlet before I can get anything else that I need to worry about. Obviously, man, I can't even see pollution yet. But I know this is a big polluter. But the nice thing is I should have plenty of power. Let me go to my budget. We'll decrease this to say 75. We'll probably do that on both and save myself a little bit of money here. Although I don't know that it's doing that much. All right. So we'll shrink that down. All right. And then we need a little bit of commercial. 
So I will start doing that right here. So I'll do that, and hopefully then that will start getting some people moving in. Because right now, yeah, I'm losing money. And that is not a good thing. All right, we need more people, or more residential, so it says, but it's not doing anything. I mean, there's folks, but I'm not seeing anybody. Maybe they gotta get here, like maybe they've we've just built the houses, but folks have gotta arrive. What is happening with the traffic? What is happening with the traffic? I don't know why they're so slow. Wow. Because, yeah, that's... None of that's helping, that's for sure. So now that I have this, though, let me go here to the junctions, because now that I have the main... primary route here. I can just flip these from signaled to these type of junctions, so that should help. Again, just kind of using the little bit I've, I know. Got our first people moved in, 36. So, we'll see how this all goes. This is just terrible. I mean, all of this, because you ca I can just tell the terrain is very challenging here. So, for a vanilla map, this one might, uh, might give me some challenges, that's for sure. Let's see what Chirpy's telling us, I assume. Nothing too exciting, just the normal startup stuff. I think it's chirper. I call it chirpy. I don't know. All right, so I have to wait to 1500 before I can potentially do any kind of smoothing, but I don't really have a lot of money to be doing that. But hopefully I don't have any substantial infrastructure investments I need to make right now. Because zoning doesn't cost anything. I'm going to go ahead and zone over here. So hopefully they'll do some commerce on the other side of the street. Because if I can do that... Hmm. Let me look. Alright. So I can get some industrial here. And I get enough, uh, enough of a overlap or whatever you want to call it from the power plant directly that I don't have to do any lines there. And then what I can do is perhaps put some commercial zoning in there and get myself an electrical connection to the location here. So, yeah, let me, let me do this, and this, and then I'll do the residential back here, and then hopefully I'll, it'll make power connections over. But we've got a hundred people. So we're not growing fast. We're still not making money. Until we get to Little Hamlet, we can't charge taxes or anything like that. So I'm a little beholden to, um, to just getting enough growth is, is what I'm having to wait for here. All right, so it did jump here, so that is good. 
Now, I really want to get rid of that, but I'm not sure I can. Like, once these connect up, I'll be able to drop those lines out. And then I can zone that as residential. A little larger than what I have. Alright, now we're shrinking. I don't know why. We have a little bit of residential growth, but this is a difficult startup, that's for sure. Alright. Positive number, that's always good. So, definitely my startup of Sandy Slopolis is making me a bit nervous. This is one thing when you're just like following someone saying, yeah, do this, do that. Yeah, this is like kind of a sloppy. I probably should have done those connections first, but I mean, it's working, but. All in all, it's a bit interesting. All right, so now I have that, so I think that means I can get rid of these. Because I should be able to then have power from all this working. So then that means I can zone that, and then this may change out. I don't want to destroy anything right now because it's going to cause my population to go down and I don't really have that option. I'm just not sure what to do right now. It's just not growing very quickly. I've got a dump truck of some sort or mining truck from Ice Cube Factory or something. Oh, I see. So it came from owner Las Vegas, I guess. So that must be like from out of town and it's just delivering to us. Getting a little bit of a call for more industry. So I suppose I can keep expanding that out just so I stay ahead of things. Yeah, we're still covered with water. I want to do these lines like every two streets, but I'd like to be making a profit. So I'm just really... And yeah, this is just... It's going to be an interesting town, I'll tell you that. The terrain here is... Far from flat, but I cannot afford to flatten everything out, so I'm just kind of going to have to let the buildings do what they do. And hopefully it won't get too ugly. Whatever that is. A box factory, huh? And an ice cube factory. Another ice... Well, you need a lot of ice cubes. I guess... I think this is a tropical map, so... I guess I understand. And the good news is the negative is getting smaller. Uh, it's just not getting small fast enough. Is this... Oh, I see. It's under construction. Wow, that is just... I just don't know if anything else will pop in there the way this is filling out here. But I'm hoping getting a good industrial sector going will encourage folks to try to move in here. Do I have... Yeah, I don't really have any more space, so I kind of need to bite off adding more on here. So let's see. 1,200 should get me there. Get me across. Whoops, I really needed to do that here. 
So I kind of did it in the wrong space. All right, but that's all right. I need to run water up here. I am really pushing the envelope. All right, so I want to give myself a buffer, but this will all be residential here. So that will hopefully meet that demand. I'm going to then keep this commercial buffer here. So we'll just kind of let it develop whether they want Main Street or something else. Yeah, I'm just not going up very quickly. But certainly not a whole lot to monitor right now. It's just more waiting waiting for the city to, to get moving. All right, I went from not plus nine to plus 18. So I'm guessing that means I'm like doubling by to go up. I think it goes up one day at a time, yeah. All right, ooh, 55, look at that. So maybe, maybe I've hit some tipping point where I'm finally going to grow. 76. So again, at 500, and then we're going to need, like, garbage and things. I just want that to be positive. Oh, we're getting some commercial right there, so that'll be good. That should be walkable. Oh boy. Oh boy. I didn't think of this. I, uh forgot to put the roads in. That's not good. Alright. That's not going to make people happy. That was bad, bad. Oh, look at that. Finally making... City's making some money, finally. Alright. So, just to not mess up again... Yeah, at 500, because what I want to do is then, because yeah, I think this should be yeah, 200, all right, so 200, 400, go there, there. Because I know when I hit 500, I'm going to need a garbage dump. And I think I'm going to put it way out here, the landfill. So I just need to give myself enough space. All right, we need some more industrial. So I'm going to get these two here. Whoops. So that should give us the demand we need because now we've suddenly don't we've slowed down in the number of people moving in and the last thing we want to do is stagnate as we've just started to get going so definitely some a lot of industry coming in that whole sector is almost fully in construction mode so it's still not drawing more residential need but you know hopefully they're gonna generate some money into the coffers don't know how much a landfill is we just really don't have a lot of money though so i'm gonna try to not spend anything else Yeah, I don't know if that's like for the month. Like it's just the 5th of March right now, and so we've had 24 people move in, and we've made 695 because it's like it's clearly not going up $709 every day. All right, am I? No, we got plenty of water. It just. Or do I not have. Oh, I see got to run the pipes down here because every every other road is the process is my understanding so that should clear that up 
So I'm thinking in the month of March here, we're going to hit Little Hamlet. So no demand for anything, which seems a little strange because it would seem like it would be unlikely that we'd suddenly be at the point with our city where it's like, well, we don't need anything. All right, residential is going up. Let me make sure I, I do have water. All right, so let me then zone more residential. so that folks can begin moving in, because that may be what's keeping me from getting to 500 here. Because there's no place for people to live. Well, I'm glad somebody's developing here. It's probably not very fun, though. They're like living near a cliff or something. Yeah, these are pretty pretty basic yards, but I'm sure these are all level one buildings right now, so. Alright, so we've made Little Hamlet. Now I know the first thing we can do taxes, and as a good student, I know I can take these up to twelve and not have anyone get mad at me if I do that. So then that should increase our income pretty nicely, I would hope. All right, and then I need garbage. Um, all right, so I don't want to block my road access. So I'll put that in there of the extra money we get for achieving Little Hamlet, I have enough to be able to do that. But that should get us um, the ability to keep the city clean. I think our next target is a thousand for Worthy Village, yes. That's when we'll get fire and police and so forth. But right now we have a medical center we can put in. So I'm going to go ahead and put that... We've got more room to grow this way. So I'm going to put that over here. Again, trying to be careful that I'm not blocking my road right of way so our health care is up and then we need an elementary school as well so I'm gonna put that right across the street with the intent of maybe getting a park or something in there once I get far enough on that all right I can see a few more things here all right, so pollution's kind of staying where I need it. It's a little bit noisy there. Why is this traffic like this? What is happening here? Like something is broken here, it seems. And I don't own this, so I can't do anything. It's like, do I have something wrong in the directions? No. I just don't know if it's because of that hill or what, but it just seems like we've got really lousy traffic because of all of this. And that's just not going to help us. Because, yeah, the other side is fine. I don't understand what's going on here. So yeah, as I said, if anybody's got, um, <laughs> you know, any ideas, certainly let me know. 
I'd love to understand what I'm seeing there. Okay, well, I see what I'm seeing here, and I don't have enough water. So let me get things out to the right distance. So I know I need to go 1200 and then I can extend my water service there and then up here and then that will get me what I need. There we go. All right. I just hope that highway clears up. I mean, it doesn't appear like it looks like it's just the center lane. People are going by on the left and the people that are coming to my town are coming in just quickly. So I think we're okay. Just not liking what I'm seeing there, I'll tell you that. Alright. But we're down to just 3,000 again. Now I need more residential. So at this point, what before I make a mistake again, I need to get my roads over. So I'm confused. Why? Why is this that way? Yeah, I don't understand what has happened there, but but these should be the normal blocks. Okay, so I'm not going to zone for the elementary school, but I will go ahead here with the healthcare facility. That's okay. So we'll do that. Go the rest of the way up here. That should give me plenty for people to move in. All right, and now we have more commercial demand. So I'm going to fill in this buffer here, and then I'm going to go ahead and do another set. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead the whole way now, because we have homes up here, and so this is going to be my commercial district, or, or main road for that anyway. And that may help, again, boost things pretty quickly. Just make sure everybody's got water, everyone's got electricity. Wow, we are already... Oh, but that's right, so I need to probably go back here to my budget and just get myself, now that I'm making money, get myself up to everything so that services are running with a full budget. So I'm like, I should be making 40 electricity. There we go. That's much better. All right. Because I don't think we get parks until 1500. All right, so I'm going to do this. I'll let that grow out. Just not sure if I want to keep... I probably should keep going this way over here. Uh, because that way they can... Um, they'll be close to work. And you know, the people that... I assume the people that move in here will be working in the industrial park. We don't need any more commercial. We don't really need any more residential either. It looks like the demand for industrial is going up again. So I'm going to go ahead and zone out these other two sections. Wow, that was immediate. So clearly there's companies wanting to call Sandy Slopolis home. So how 
is our garbage dump doing? 1% full, that's good. So at least it'll last for a little while. So yeah, I'm basically... I don't have a specific plan. Uh, it's just really trying to to grow at this point. Um, you know, certainly once I can see the terrain, I think I, I'm going to try my best to kind of respect topology where I can, certainly with the roads. But, um, man, that highway is just not clearing up. I was just hoping over time that something might have happened, but clearly it's not. Whoops, do I not have water out here? I don't. Alright, so I need to take the water out to here. And then I think I need to take it here. There we go. Because, yeah, the dump doesn't need water. So, just trying to stay ahead of all that. We're 27 people away from uh, getting where we need. Alright, so I'm definitely going to want to do some kind of redundancy here. Hmm. I might have to fix that later because this didn't go like this didn't go down the street appropriately. So I'm gonna pause that and I'm gonna clean that up. So let's see. We need to go from here to there. And then there to the all right. There we go. We get a little bit of um, redundancy in the water network. But that should. Okay, why are the pipes not connecting? What is happening? Oh. All right, so we're a worthy village. There we go. I'm like, what is going on? All right. So now I'm going to need police and fire. Again, I... Hmm. All right. If I put that there... And then let's see, we'll put the police, put it on that street here. So I think those are the only new city services we have at Worthy Village. Now we're going to Tiny Town at 1500. And again, that should be when we get our parks and plazas available to us. So yeah, I'm not really worried about green cities or anything like that. I do have that uh, mod. Let me get this water run up here. Alright. So we've got all that. So everybody's got the services they need, but man, it just gets used so fast. All right, so I'm gonna head over here because pretty soon I'm gonna then be able to uh, use this. So if I go over here, then yeah, once we get some of the grid, we'll then be able to just pull power off of there. So let me go up here. 
kind of brave doing this this far away, but... Alright, just gotta be careful. So I'm kind of at the point where it seems like I can lay my streets pretty quickly here, but... Just not sure. At some point I'm gonna want to pave everything. That's definitely gonna help. Alright, so we have the need again for more. I'm gonna put my commercial buffer in. We'll get more residential. And yeah, we'll fill this block. Whoop, no, I don't wanna do that yet. Because again, I want to do the parks, but we'll get a few blocks over here. Because then that will again sp spread out. And once I can be close enough that it makes that leap, then I can stop worrying about that. Do I want to zone anything here? Not sure would be commercial, I would think. Although I guess I could put some industrial there. I don't know. There's not industrial need right now, so just wait. All right, so Gotten to a thousand. I'm not sure if that's kind of enough at this point. If I want to do anything else. Alright, we're short of workers, which is not good. We are starting to get close on the electricity consumption, which is a little scary. Yeah, I may end up calling this. Do I have... I do have that zone. I'm just wondering why they built here but didn't build there. That is interesting. And yeah, I've got residential. But no, I think I may have gotten a good start here. This may be enough to, you know, kick things off. Now, is my education... Yeah, we're getting really close, honestly, to needing more. Wow. Alright, so I've got a school over there. I'm going to go ahead and Let's see. I don't want to knock anything down if I don't need to. Alright, so let me put that there. And that will help because that will give us 600. So as we grow, because we definitely want to have enough educated citizens because that ends up being what is the problem here is that they need well, they still need uneducated workers, but let me make sure. Okay, I'm in the money, or in the water, not the money. So yeah, I think I'm going to go through, if I can get myself to 1,500 here, I think I'll call that the first episode, because that will certainly be enough, and we're not really growing super fast here. Don't have a lot of demand for much of anything. It's like I've still got residential that they can build on. They just don't seem to want to. But we'll finish that one out. Guess we'll add this one here. Increase some ability for folks to move in if they want. 
Alright, so getting some development there. Nobody's no takers there. I do have, yeah, that one is is zoned. It's interesting how how things are growing but not. Gonna need another power plant soon. That's crazy. Cause yeah, I'm not sure that I'm gonna be able to make it. I mean, if I have to put more industrial in, I certainly won't be able to. Let's see if I speed it up a little bit here. Because I shouldn't really need to do much other than just wait. So, 1400. Oh, I saw a building level up there. That's good. So that means folks are at least happy. All right, I gotta be careful. So I'll have to get water over there. I could probably do that now. So let me run this over and then up so that we're... All right, so we got to Tiny Town which means we get some extra cash. But at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and call it right now. And we'll pick this up next time. But Sandy Slopolis has got a decent start, 1500. You know, we're up to Tiny Town. We're going to have to, you know, next one is Boomtown. But yeah, at this point, we've, re we've got policies that come into effect, a lot of different roads uh, from the park life and so forth. Um, I'm not doing anything with canals, I promise that. But yeah, we'll be able to do the high school and the library and more importantly, the, the parks and so forth that we can get in by the... Um, by the school and so forth. So I'll pick all that stuff up next time. But thanks for tagging along. Uh, certainly I'm hoping this will be a welcome addition to the channel for folks to follow someone who's new to City Skylines. and Hopefully I won't fumble along too long. Uh, hopefully I'll, I'll get, get good at this and start making some real progress. But at this point, I'm you know just trying to get my foot going. But certainly, uh, if you'd like to see more of this, certainly like the the uh, video to encourage the spread. Let people know that I'm doing this on the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, certainly encourage you to do that. But love to hear your comments as well and have conversations. And for now, I will see you next time.